A 130-pound bout for Mikey Garcia, the brother of what is going to be Hall of Fame trainer Robert Garcia. He is going to fight Juan Carlos Burgos at Madison Square Garden. Now, Robert Garcia was quoted as saying, Robert, we have Robert Excel on the line, the editor-in-chief of Boxing.com. Robert Garcia was quoted as saying, it's not easy for him, as in Mikey, to make 130. Our next move could be 135, even 140. Now, certainly he has to get past Burgos, which we all do believe that he will. But let me ask you this, Robert. Not that it's a given, not that it's a given, I'm not saying it's a given, but I'm just saying from what I've seen from Mikey Garcia, very talented fighter. But let me ask you this, Robert, is he on the level of stardom? Is he going to be on the level of stardom when he fights a better opponent? What do you think? Well, I mean, that's basically the, what's going on right now. HBO and Top Rank really sort of rolled out the red carpet for Garcia. They're trying to make him into a star, into a bankable pay-per-view attraction. He's not there yet. Uh, he's not a star, he's not a pay-per-view star, and certainly not a bankable pay-per-view star. But promoters are doing, uh, uh, Top Rank is doing what promoters are supposed to do, which is to promote, you know, to promote their fighter, sure. to make something from someone. TV, HBO is doing what it's supposed to do, which is to create a star. Uh, even if somebody has no star power, you create a star. Which is not to say that Garcia doesn't have star power. Uh, real personable, you know, solid citizen, really humble. Uh, excellent fighter, always comes in shape, doesn't balloon up between fights. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a terrific boxer. He's a really a hell of a hell of a good fighter, but he is sort of an unknown quantity uh, to the average fight fan. And again, they're pushing him. They're trying to build him up into something that he is not, at least. Uh, at least not yet. Now, Robert, Mikey Garcia did spar with Manny Pacquiao pre-Pacquiao Morales in 2006. Robert Garcia was also quoted as saying that Mikey reminds him of Juan Manuel Marquez and the fact that he is a solid, solid counterpuncher. Look, you, you've been around the fight game. You've covered many fantastic fights and a lot of fantastic fighters. Who does Mikey Garcia resemble to you? Oh, Mikey Garcia, I mean, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I, I know I'm putting uh, you on the spot, but I'm just curious. <laughs> you put me on the spot a lot. <laughs> well, he's an, he's an exemplary boxer. I mean, he's an exemplary boxer puncher, incredibly skilled. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about him. Uh, he's, just, he's just incredibly skilled. I mean, he does resemble Marquez in some ways, but he's a more assertive. He's more aggressive in the ring than Marquez. Uh, Marquez is willing to sort of hang back and sort of take his shots, uh, waiting for you know, the, punch, the punch that'll be the great equalizer. Whereas Garcia is he's more aggressive, so he's more fan friendly. He's not really a thinking man's fighter, although both both are thinking man's fighter. But Garcia comes to fight, and because he comes to fight, there's a good chance that you know his fan base will grow over time. And again, HBO and Top Rank are doing all in their power to make sure that that's a that's a reality. There's much speculation now, Robert, that Mikey Garcia may potentially fight Yuri Yorkis Gamboa, who is 32 years old, and he's only fought what well, seems like two times in the past three years, I believe. Would you like to see that fight right now after this fight against Burgos? I really have lost interest in Yuri Yorkis Gamboa. <laughs> uh, forgive me, but I, I, I must be honest. Uh, his stock has his stock has dropped uh, seriously dropped uh, again the infrequency with which he fights is one thing his bolting from the Rios fight what the day before the fight a week before the fight yes was sort of inexplicable and unforgivable uh, I don't know that he really wants to fight uh, I mean I think he likes being a star I think he likes the, you know the bright lights in the big city the smell of the grease paint the you know the roar of the crowd but I don't think he really wants to fight because if he wanted to fight he would fight and he doesn't seem to fight so my interest in that fight as you can hear it's not is not great now <laughs> I, I totally understand what you're saying bolting what seems like maybe a week prior to the fight, and Brandon Rios holding up signs, where is Yuri Orcas Gamboa, the presser? That certainly does not speak great to the person that you are and the type of man that you are. So unfortunate to see Yuri Orcas Gamboa suddenly just be on the down, unfortunately, trending down amazingly. When we, we saw this guy on Friday Night Fights knocking out guys left and right, the talent is there. The speed is there. The power is there. Unfortunately, we just don't have the pleasure of seeing it at a high frequency. Moving right along, let me just ask you this, and then we'll move right along. Can we possibly see in the next year-ish, year and a half, a Mikey Garcia, Manny Pacquiao fight when he moves up in weight? That's what they're talking. I mean, he first he free. He must have a fight at 135. I mean, he can't just jump 
two weight classes and take on Pacquiao. He has to have a fight at 135, and he also probably has to up the ante in terms of his competition. I mean, he's been well handled, uh, you know, carefully handled, but well handled. Uh, I think that the competition will get increasingly better as he continues to fight, but he's not really ready for Manny Pacquiao quite yet. Um, maybe in a year's time, he does fight frequently, uh, to his credit, but uh, he has to have at least one fight at 135, and perhaps at least a, a fight at 140 before he takes on Pacquiao.